Over the past century, the ocean has been rapidly changing. Global water temperatures have increased, sea levels have risen, and the fundamental chemistry of the ocean has been altered. The biodiversity that appeared on this earth three and a half billion years ago now are facing threat because of we the humans. A marine biologist in the Bay of Bengal is investigating the resilience of marine life by researching one of the planet's greatest survivors, the horseshoe crab. They've outlived the dinosaurs and survived mass extinctions. Can their ability to adapt provide clues for how other ocean creatures might evolve and survive in the face of modern day climate change? We believe that because the horseshoe crabs have survived, they hold the information for survival. In the northeastern part of the Indian Ocean is the Bay of Bengal. Dr. Punasloki Bahadri and his team of marine biologists are searching for horseshoe crabs. But finding these creatures is harder than it once was. Seems to be an interesting place where we should be able to see some horseshoe crabs. Horseshoe crabs are an example of living fossils. They've existed nearly unchanged since at least 445 million years ago, long before dinosaurs. They're a keystone species, which means they play a crucial role in maintaining the health of this coastal area. Horseshoe crabs in sizable numbers can help accelerate many of the ecosystem level processes, transfer of energy, maintaining the food wave, ensuring the carbon cycling. So therefore, they are very, very critical. But they are now on the threatened species list. Ten years ago, when I started my work looking at the horseshoe crab population, at this place, I would find a lot of horseshoe crabs. Today, I see hardly any horseshoe crabs. The team is researching what is causing the decline in population to help build a case to make part of this coastline a marine protected area. We are liaising with fisher folk communities. They get hold of the horseshoe crabs which are caught in nets or in trawlers. They pass those horseshoe crabs to us so that they can recover. They can help towards the conservation by keeping an eye how the habitat uh, is changing or how they are being threatened. But the team is facing many challenges. Horseshoe crabs are sought after because of their ability to improve human health. They have a unique substance in their blood, which is used to make a chemical called limulus amebocyte lysate. This chemical can detect trace amounts of bacterial contamination. It is used in many vaccines and to test equipment before surgical operations. As a result, the blood of horseshoe crabs is one of the most valuable liquids on Earth and can be worth as much as $16,000 per litre. Although they return to the ocean after being bled, an estimated 50,000 horseshoe crabs die in the process per year. But this isn't the only threat they're facing. Like so many other ocean creatures, the horseshoe crabs are also being affected by overfishing, coastal pollution and habitat loss. Perhaps the greatest threat, however, comes from climate change. Over the past few hundred years, human activity has increased the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. This traps heat, most of which is absorbed by the ocean, causing it to warm. In 2019, its mean surface temperatures were 0.77 degrees Celsius warmer than during the 20th century. And in turn, the sea levels have risen. The ocean also absorbs carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, changing its chemistry. These factors are affecting ocean species. Many will need to adapt or face the threat of extinction. Today, the researchers are taking water samples and sediment from the bay to analyze back in the lab. What they find on expeditions like this can shape their understanding of the effects of climate change on marine life, like the horseshoe crab. We analyze different environmental parameters to understand the health of this ecosystem. For example, charismatic species such as the horseshoe crabs, 
We can then start to link and understand what kind of changes might be happening to them. The samples are analyzed for acidity, temperature, and microscopic algae, food for many sea creatures, including the horseshoe crab. Using this information, the researchers are able to build a more accurate picture of the biodiversity in the area and ultimately which creatures are likely to survive. This isn't the first time that the horseshoe crab has had to face major climatic changes. It has survived five catastrophic mass extinction events, but current changes to the ocean are happening much faster than ever before. Human pressure is affecting the health of the modern ocean on a much shorter scale. Therefore, the horseshoe crabs are not finding enough time to adapt to these changes, and thus they are becoming more vulnerable. Along the coast, the team has unearthed something unexpected. The horseshoe crabs are moving into different areas in search of new food sources and new habitats. We are quite happy we found uh, two horseshoe crabs out here in this mangrove patch. They are looking very healthy. This is a new habitat out here within the mangroves of the Sundarbans where they have colonized. And we'll continue to monitor these sites very well and get an understanding why they're colonizing these new sites. The horseshoe crabs are survival specialists. But it's too early to tell whether this recent migration and adaptation is a masterstroke. This is a fight back mechanism, or I would say an adaptive mechanism. I believe this is a very, very bold step the horseshoe crabs are taking. They're going into areas where food resources are of very different nature. We have to keep studying them to understand whether it is a wise step for them or not. I'm sure knows what it is doing. Question is, are we allowing that animal to let the change happen so that it survive and prosper? The horseshoe crabs aren't the only marine species which are trying to adjust to climate change. For the past two decades, lobsters along the coast of North America have been slowly moving north to colder, more favorable temperatures. And researchers have discovered that some Arctic seabirds have moved their mating season to earlier in the year when food is more available. The hope is that if given enough time, many marine species will be able to adapt to the growing changes in the ocean. If we can understand what kind of adaptive strategies they have undertaken, we can then see for many of the other endangered species, how would they cope to these changes that is happening in the global ocean? Horseshoe crabs are showing signs that they may adapt in the face of climate change. But to give them a fighting chance, Dr. Bahadri is lobbying local government to implement more marine protected areas along this fragile coastline to protect and conserve these animals and the ecosystem from overfishing, pollution and construction. Eventually, in the coast of India, we will declare ecologically sensitive areas where human-induced activity will be completely stopped so that horseshoe crabs will survive, thrive, and in the process, many other marine organisms will survive and thrive. So that is the approach that we are aiming to achieve in the long run. As the ocean changes, it is unclear which species will be able to cope. But by conserving and studying one of nature's greatest survivors, Scientists like Dr. Bahadri can gain a better sense of how other marine species might migrate, adapt, and evolve in the future. Hi, I'm Claire, and I directed this film. If you want to learn more about some of the innovative ways people are trying to tackle the challenges facing the ocean, then click on the link opposite. If you want to watch more of the Protector series, then click on the other link. Please remember to subscribe and thank you for watching.